Hi, this is Juan for Boynton Pro Audio in the Music Square, and today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the largest amp in the Fishman Loudbox series, the Loudbox Performer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through all the features on the front and back panel, we're going to go through all of the specs, and then we'll dive right into some sound examples. And at the same time, if you're just interested in hearing what this amp sounds like, I'll put right down here where you can uh, jump right to the sound examples and kind of skip all of this or listen to the amp first and then come back and hear about it later. So looking at the front of the amp, we have inputs for two channels, and we we can either plug an instrument or a microphone into either channel. And if you have a pickup in your guitar that's particularly hot and you're kind of clipping the amp on the way in, we do have a pad control that's going to reduce everything by 10 decibels. So that'd be able to get your instrument right to where it wants to be. Each channel has its own gain control. Each channel has its own EQ. We have a low, middle, and high uh, EQ. Then we also have some kind of anti-feedback stuff, which is pretty cool. So we have a rotary anti-feedback control and a phase button. Now, different frequencies are gonna cause you to feed back at different points, depending on how close or far away from the amp you are, what size room you're in. So you can use these two controls to really tailor where you wanna chop out some of those frequencies. So all you're essentially doing is getting rid of the feedback and not really cutting out any of the, your, uh, your tone that you've worked so hard to, uh, to get. Now, looking over at the other side of the amp, we have a master volume control. We have an auxiliary level control, and if we look at the back panel of the amplifier, we have auxiliary ins, either a eighth inch or quarter inch TRS. So if you want to be running an iPhone or laptop to have some backing tracks going or just some music going in between your sets, here's your, your uh, volume control for that. We have the option of a mute switch, which we'll talk a little bit more about uh, when we get to the foot switch portion of the amp. Uh, but basically what this does is it just kills the, the two channels, so that way if you want to change instruments, you're not going to hear loud pops, or you're going to have to adjust your volume uh, to kind of turn it off. You can just hit that mute switch and that'll do that. We have a tweeter control. Now the amp has an eight inch driver, a five inch mid-range speaker, and then we have a one inch tweeter in this 180 watt uh, little combo amp. And what we can do with the tweeter control is just bring in however much of the tweeter or pull out as much as we want. So that way we can really tailor the top end. And we have phantom power. So if you have a condenser microphone that you wanna use with the Loudbox Performer, you can do that. So let's take a look at our effects section because this is pretty cool. So each channel has an effect A that we can just kind of leave on and we can adjust the levels of those uh, individually. Then effect B, we can actually foot switch in and out. So if you want some choruses or some flanges to come in either on your vocals or your guitar, kind of here and there, but you don't want to leave them on all the time, you with your two button foot switch, you can uh, bring those in and out. So let's take a look at the back panel and we'll go over that and then dive into the sound examples. So looking at the back of the amplifier, we have our two button foot switch and we can use this to bring effect B in and out and also to mute channels one and two. So if we're gonna be changing instruments and we don't wanna hear all those pops and clicks without having to turn the, the volume the amp off. Uh, we can just hit that, that kill switch and that'll turn that off. We have our auxiliary in and we can either have a TRS eighth inch or TRS quarter inch in. And again, we can use that for backing tracks or just music to go, uh, to go on during our set. Then each channel has its own effects loop, which is pretty cool. So if we want to use any additional stomp boxes or something like a looper pedal, the, the effects loop for either channel is going to be the place to put that. Now, the direct outs for each channel are actually pre-EQ. So what you can do is you can set up the EQ controls on the front of the amplifier for your personal monitoring and then just leave it completely blank for the sound engineer to be able to EQ to their taste. And at the same time, if you want everything that you've done up front, including the EQ to go out to the PA system, you can just use your main out and use it for that. So let's dive into some sound examples. We're gonna go through, we're gonna turn all of the knobs, we'll let you hear all of the effects and hopefully give you a really good representation of what this amp can do.
more questions about the Fishman Loudbox Performer, you're always welcome to give us a call at the phone number you see on your screen. You can grab one of these direct from us at www.boyntonproaudio.com. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos like this, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and stay tuned because we have a lot of cool videos coming for you soon. Okay, take care.